Baylor President Dr. Linda Livingstone announced that Baylor is now in compliance with the accreditation standards set out by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, concluding the Baylor Board of Regents meeting on October 20th. After receiving the accreditation warning last year, Baylor has been focusing on implementing the 105 recommendations that resulted from the sexual assault scandal and making key changes to improve the environment on campus. Although regardless of the recent review, Livingstone says improvements to campus won't stop anytime soon. This work will continue as we move forward. We will continue to work on ensuring that the environment that we're providing to our students is a safe and healthy environment. We will continue to learn from our own experiences. We will continue to learn from the experiences of other institutions and ensure that what we're doing now is best practice. And if we learn new things along the way, we will continue to improve and advance what we're doing. So this is an issue that I don't think you're ever completely done dealing with because it is an ongoing issue and we have to make sure that we stay really on top of it and ensure that we're doing the best we can for our students. And so we will continue to make progress even beyond what we've already done. As part of Baylor's recovery, Board of Regents Chairman Joel Allison says he feels confident about the changes taking place on the board. This board over the last several years, as you all know better than anybody, has been through a lot and so culture can tend to drift. Uh, but I think now that we've had our uh, really reassessment of what is good governance. We've had outside people come and speak to us. So I think that culture is really, it's the culture of just good governance. The accrediting body, SAC COC, will make their final decision on Baylor's accreditation status in December. Reporting for LTVN, I'm Jessica Babb.